there's been a lot of talk on social media in some college hostels at little tea drinking areas near in in offices who is the better batsman at the moment is it kohli is it smith if you put it to a popular vote kohli will probably get 90% of the votes because all indians win internet polls anyway but kohli or smith smith or kohli it's it's a bit like the tendulkar lara debates that used to rage actually given their batting styles more the tendulkar ponting debate some of the purists thought that ponting had had his spells when he was scoring more runs than tendulkar we refused to accept that but it's a bit like that so we thought we'd look at all three formats let's check out the numbers and let's see what they are telling us so here we go test batsman who's the better player kohli or smith right virat kohli has played 63 test matches he's got 5268 runs at 53.75 that's very very good indeed 20 centuries and he's scoring a century every 5.3 innings that puts him among the best in contemporary cricket maybe even beyond his generation but is he the best no there's someone else who's charting new territories look at what steve smith is doing i actually believe steve smith's playing in a slightly weaker batting side so he's carrying the side along with him the extra responsibility the weight that he carries and look at the numbers that he's generating he's played four test matches fewer than virat kohli he's only played 59 test matches but he's got more runs 5796 he's averaging 62 he's got 2200s and he's scoring 100 every 4.9 innings he's just he's just churning them out so i don't think there's much of a debate you look at the home and away average there's a significant difference steve smith away 54 virat kohli away 45 and there's just one little thing that goes against kohli as well he suddenly goes through these these bursts where he just scores no runs 130 runs in a whole series in in uh, england just 46 runs in a whole series against australia so i think it's 1-0 to steve smith over virat kohli at this stage so let's move on limited overs internationals what about odis and i think you'll start to see the gulf for a start virat kohli has played many many more one day internationals than steve smith but the numbers he's generating are just magical take a look at those virat kohli 55.74 versus smith's 43.23 virat kohli 3200s to steve smith's 800s chasing virat kohli 65 versus steve smith's 46.3 he's got 1900s chasing What makes it even more interesting for Virat Kohli is he plays one day cricket like he's playing test cricket orthodox he'll hit in the V occasionally he'll he'll go over cover very rarely he'll sweep but you'll never see anything you you won't see all those exotic shots the reverse sweeps the switch hits the little uh, dill scoops no so when it comes to limited overs internationals he's carrying his side along he's charting new territory he might even become a viv richards esque limited overs player who knows so i think when it comes to one day internationals it's kohli over smith so we are now one all what about t20 internationals i think you'll find this is the clincher because even though virat kohli doesn't play the ab de villiers kind of cricket i think he's is significantly ahead of steve smith here's what the numbers are telling us 7068 runs to virat kohli 3124 runs to steve smith he's played far fewer games but the averages tell a story 40.8 versus 30 and a strike rate of 133 versus 125 also you look at steve smith walking in to a t20 game and you say oh my god is the game over You look at Virat Kohli walking into a game and you say oh my god the game is over. And that happens especially when Virat Kohli is playing for India when he's in form. So T20s would want to give it to Virat Kohli. So what's the final verdict? Steve Smith the better test match player, Virat Kohli the better limited overs player and since we sneaked in two kinds of limited overs uh, formats we're looking at Virat Kohli 2-1 at this stage. So go back to your hostels, go back to your chai shops, go back to your uh, social media and debate this and tell me what you think. We run quite a few videos on this channel now and uh, I've been told that you quite enjoy them. So if you really do, why don't you like? Why don't we share? Why don't you leave a comment behind and do subscribe to the channel?